Hello everybody, it's 444 on with the next video of 365 Day Matter Challenge. Got a trick today. I'll do a quick little review of it after I perform it. So here we go. Uh, this I have to. I'm gonna shuffle up the cards. I have to do this trick at least once in my shows uh, because it's an homage to my grandfather. And my grandfather taught me my very first magic trick. This is not a. This is not a uh, magic story. This is actually really true. He taught me my very first magic trick, and he must have been really psychic because he said. Listen, grandson, when you perform on, I, I mean, after his voice. Listen, Sonny, when, when you perform on YouTube, he didn't, he, YouTube wasn't even invented 10 years ago, so I don't know how he knew this. When you, when you perform on YouTube in, in a couple years and you do this trick, it's going to be the biggest one you upload. Now, see, he was, he was like, must have been really psychic because he knew YouTube before it even existed. He should have invented YouTube, so he could have made millions of dollars, but that's besides the point. So, uh, he said, have your spectator tell you stop whenever you want as they go down the side of the um, deck. So, he stopped me right there, and this is going to be the card. Now, just for argument's sake, I'm going to look at it just so I know what it is for this. And you replace the cut, you give it a snap, and it jumps back to the top of the king of spades. No, wait, that's not it. Oh, wait, that's another trick my grandfather taught me. We'll get rid of that. That's another trick my grandfather taught me. He actually said, when you snap, the card will turn itself face up. So let me go ahead, and I'm going to just deal off all the cards until I find a face up card. So we're going to see, and you'll be able to see it too, because it's going to look different than all the backs. Let me just keep going here. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I'm getting kind of low on cards here. I'm getting a little nervous. Uh, that, that didn't work either. Uh-oh, that didn't work either. Um, I did something wrong. Oh, you know what? I know, I know. When uh, my grandfather said, if a magic trick never works, always keep a good trick under your hat. That's why I have the hat here. Because you always keep a good one under the hat. I have an actual uh, playing card here. It's, it's folded up. It's a jumbo one, folded up into force. Let me show it to you. I'm going to open it up. There's one, and there is two. The ten of hearts. Well, that was the card. All right, now this is the trick. Um, this is a very simple trick, and let me kind of go into the uh, trick. I saw this um, on a video uh, for a tutorial on how to do a magic kind of move. I think I saw it on there. Can't remember exactly where I saw this trick. And the the presentation wasn't exactly as you saw it here, but the whole line of my grandfather said, "Keep a good card trick under your hat." Was there? And uh, they had a jumbo playing card under the hat. Well, I bought a trick, uh, you know, a couple, about a year ago probably. It was Jay Sankey's The Bigger Finish, where it was this card. And what you do is, I think, The Bigger Finish, which I haven't performed in a while. I didn't go look that up on YouTube, but it was, um, I think you take four cards and you say, I'm going to morph these cards together, and then you make this jumbo card appear at the end or something like that. But I took the Jay Sankey's Bigger Finish card, and I put it under the hat, so it's kind of a more dramatic kind of reveal. When instead of having one jumbo card under there, you open, you take the hat off, and you open this up, and boom, it's a it's a card folded into force, which is kind of neat. Because normally the, the card will be pushed down, and when they they think they see one card, you know it's actually in force. Open it up, and they see the big card. Uh, this is a really good one. <coughs> excuse me, to do on the street as a closer as your finale trick. Because, if you watched my Magician 101 series, i got to put these cards somewhere. If you watched the Magician 101 series, I told you that the best way to pitch for tips is to have the hat in your hand at the end of the show. So what I like to do is, when I get the trick wrong and do the line, my grandfather said a good card trick under the hat, I say, watch, nothing in my hands, I'm going to lift the hat up, and I grab the hat, they take the card, they open it. Look, I'm in prime position now to take my hat and, uh, and ask for tips. That is one of the best things for street magic, is to have a trick where at the end, you finish with you holding the hat. 
And that way you can do a hat line, something like, nobody pays me to be out here except for you kind people when you throw a dollar or two in the hat. And then you can hold the hat and they can throw the money in. Uh, normally when I do street magic, though, I have the hat sitting in front of my table in case somebody wants to throw it in. But at the end, I always try to find a trick for the closer in which they can hold the hat out and they can throw the money in, which is always great. And this trick works. And it's great as a closer to a street show. So this is the trick. I'm calling it my grandfather's favorite card trick. And it's a really, really great trick. Uh, go out and perform it because it does not take any... Um, or it doesn't really it doesn't take it really require any work. And if you're a magician, you know what I did at the beginning there, so you know exactly how to do the trick already. And it's one of those ones you can go out and do. But uh, it's a really really great trick and a great way to end your street show. So it's my grandfather's favorite card trick. Hope you guys enjoyed.